Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Ahmad Shahzuan bin Azizi. I'm from Polytechnic Jili, Kelantan. And today I will be presenting a research paper with the title of Formulation and Development of Pellet Feeds for Hybrid Chickens Using Moringa and Madre de Agua. Here are the leaves of our authors. For the introduction, in Malaysia, the current surge in chicken prices is driven by increased demand for poultry products and rising cost of chicken feed. Escalating prices of chicken feed influenced by global grain price fluctuations and supply chain disruptions directly impact production costs for farmers. Faced with higher feed expenses, poultry farmers are passing on the burden to consumers resulting in elevated chicken prices. In October 2023, there has been a notable rise in the cost of fresh chicken, increasing by 1 ringgit and 10 cents per kilogram to reach 10 ringgit and 50 cents, and marking a significant upturn from the previous price of 9 ringgit and 40 cents. A comprehensive approach combining governmental intervention and industry strategies is crucial to address the root causes of the chicken price hike in Malaysia. There are two objectives of this study. Number one, to develop a unique chicken feed pellet formulation by combining the nutritional advantages of Moringa and Madre de Agua as its essential ingredients. And number two, to evaluate the formulated feed's effectiveness in promoting the growth and development of hybrid chickens. Firstly, let's take a look at a brief description of Moringa. Moringa, or its scientific name, Moringa oleifera, is commonly known in Malaysia as Merungai or Down Glow. It is a fast-growing tree belonging to the Moringa CA family and is native to the Indian subcontinent and widely utilized in Southeast Asia countries, especially in Malaysia. Moringa leaves has also exhibited medicinal properties due to its ability to be used as antibacterial antimicrobial and chemotherapeutic potential agents. In the Philippines, for example, it is also used as traditional supplements for malnourished and underweight school children. Traditionally, in the farming sector, Moringa is often used as animal for the feed alongside commercial pellets in the form of raw stems and leaves, usually bundled together and placed inside of the animal cage. Next, let's take a look at a brief description on Madre de Agua or its scientific name, uh, Trachentera jagentia. Madre de Agua, or commonly known in Malaysia as Ketum Ayam, is a versatile plant that is easily propagated and can be usually found in village areas or also can be used as natural fences. Madre de Agua is used as fresh animal for the feed for various animals and livestock. Uh, for example, for chickens, uh, and some rabbit farmers also use uh, ketum ayam for their animal uh, feeder feed. Fresh Madre de Agua leaves that are also whole and fresh have a high protein concentration, and the high content of ash in Madre de Agua can also be utilized to boost minerals levels in the diet of livestock in tropical regions where mineral deficiencies are frequently observed in pastures. Hybrid chicken, Gallus domesticus, in Malaysia, uh, the, Malaysia ranks among the top consumers of poultry globally, and the annual per capita chicken consumption in Malaysia is nearly 50 kg, making it the top consumer in Asia and the third highest globally. In this study, hybrid chickens has been chosen as the main subject as compared to other varieties of chicken since the start of chicken is the most red and sold in Jeli Kelantan by local farmers. Hybrid chickens are formed through the crossbreeding of two distinct chicken breeds or lines that possess desirable qualities. So what is mocha pellet? Uh, the name of our innovation and in this research, um, the name mocha pellet is derived from the words mo, M-O, and ka, which symbolizes moringa, M-O in moringa, and ketum ayam, K-A, respectively, that highlights the novel aspect of the chicken pellet feed. 
Even though there are several commercial pallets in the market that utilize Moringa and small portion of Madre de Agua as they are separate active ingredients, to date there are none in the market that combines both ingredients in a single pallet feed. Based on the various positive benefits or impacts from Moringa and Madre de Agua towards poultry farming, this study aims to discover a new and innovative solution to not only benefit the farmers but also to the well-being of chickens. Now let's take a look at the methodology. We have divided uh, the process of the study into four phases, which is number one, chicken cook construction, and then number two, sample preparation, and number three, diet feeding and weighing of chicken, and last but not least, laboratory analysis. This study was conducted at Farm Centre and Post Harvest Lab in Polytechnic Jeli Kelantan. Meanwhile, for the pelletizer machine or the pellet uh, making machine, it was used for, uh, for producing the mocha pellet and commercial pellet uh, as control in the study was lent by Macro Engineering Kelantan as a form of strategic collaboration. Design and construction of chicken coops. A total of two medium-sized chicken coops were constructed using locally sourced and recycled materials with the size of 120 cm times 60 cm times times 60 cm. Each coop is equipped with a feeder, water, and lamp to accommodate five chickens in a single coop. The coop that was used to house chicken uh, fed with mocha pellet was named Coop A, while the coop that housed chickens which were fed with commercial pellet feed or control was named Coop B. Sample preparation Moringa uh, and Madre de Agua fresh leaves were collected from farms in Selangor and Pahang respectively to standardize the nutritional composition and genetical characteristics of the leaves. The leaves were cleaned and dried using a convection oven at 60 uh, degrees Celsius temperature for about 8 hours to remove approximately 90% moisture. Using a dry blender, uh, the dried leaves were finally milled into the form of fine powder and other ingredients such as uh, cooking oil, protein powder, rice husk bran, uh, commercial feed and refined corn bran and many other ingredients uh, have been acquired from local markets. The formulation for the commercial feed uh, that we use as control in the study was composed of refined corn bran 60%, rice husk bran 25% and protein powder 15%. Meanwhile, for mocha pellet, uh, it was formulated with refined corn bran 50%, rice husk bran 15%, protein powder 15%, moringa powder uh, 10%, moringa leaf powder 10%, and madre de agua leaf powder 10%. A palletizer machine with grinding disc plate size of 4mm was used to produce feed pellet. As you can see in this picture, this is the process of drying using convection oven in the lab. And in this picture, uh, it, it was the uh, Madre de Agua leaves. And for diet feeding and weighing of chickens, a total of 10 hybrid chickens aged 7 to 9 days were used for experimentation, whereby 5 chickens were randomly placed in each coop. The average body weight of each chicken in the early test range from 79.2 grams to 82.3 grams. The chickens in coop B received feed label as control, while those in coop A were provided with mocha pellet twice daily, uh, each session allowing for an allocation of 250 grams, which means in a day, uh, each coop has been supplied with 500 grams of feed, and in average, one chicken uh, will consume 100 grams of feed. Clean water was provided at libitum. The chickens were weigh weekly for about 35 days. So in each interval of seven days, seven days, uh, the chickens were weighed. Results and discussion. Chemical composition of mocha pellet versus commercial pellet. We have uh, sent our samples, then 100 grams of uh, mocha pellet and 100 grams of commercial pellet have been sent to a reputable lab uh, to do the chemical testing. 
Table 1 displays the chemical composition per 100 gram of the provided diet. In all parameters, Mocha Pellet exhibited superior, superior results as compared to commercial pellet. As you can see in this table over here, uh, there are four parameters that we have tested. Number one is energy, uh, carbohydrate, uh, protein and fat. For Mocha Pellet, uh, record, Mocha Pellet has recorded 262 energy kilocalories. Meanwhile, commercial pellet was 347 kilocalories. For carbohydrate, Mocha Pellet recorded 67.3 grams. Meanwhile, commercial pellet was 62.1 grams. For protein, 13.8 grams for mocha pellet and for commercial pellet uh, 10.7 grams for fat in mocha pellet 6.4 grams meanwhile for commercial pellet uh, recorded for about 5.8 grams uh, the results uh, compared to the result for mocha pellet exhibited superior result as compared to commercial pellet whereby mocha pellet demonstrated a 4.1 percent higher energy content and then 7.7% higher carbohydrate levels, 22.5 gram, 22.5% uh, uh, higher in protein content, and 9.4% higher content of fat. And in in this result, uh, we can see that the most astonishing uh, data that we have received is uh, for protein, uh, which recorded 22.5% of difference for mocha pellet. Moringa and Madre de Agua possess vital minerals, vitamins and essential amino acids that are crucial for the growth and development of livestock animals. Next, we take a look at the growth performance of hybrid chickens in terms of weight. For day zero, the initial growth difference for chicks in coop A and B uh, was were 0.09% growth difference and it may be negligible to the fact due to the fact that the chips were just recently acquired from the supplier and before this at, at their previous farm uh, they were fed with similar feeds. So on day 7 13.9% uh, growth difference because chickens are still in starter stage uh, which means in this stage, uh, they have been experiencing rapid growth based on their provided diet. Day 14, mocha pellet exhibited a massive increase in weight gain. Uh, chickens fed with mocha pellet exhibit a massive increase in weight gain at 25.3% growth difference. Day 21, a drop, a slight drop in growth since the chicken will be entering the finishing stage. But the chickens fed with mocha pellet again have shown growth superiority with 9.02% weight difference as compared to chickens are fed with commercial pellet. On day 28, 11.2% growth difference. And finally, on the final stage of the test, on day 35, there was a, there was a big gap of competitive advantage in terms of final weight data at 14.23% uh, growth difference. This finding is supported by Andegua et al. 2012 and Fanimo et al. 2003 who stated that chicken grows faster when having better response to higher protein levels in the diet. And finally, as a conclusion, the inclusion of Moringa and Madre de Agua leaves in hybrid chicken feed has great potential in terms of voluntary feed intake and weight gain. In the future, further research and development are needed to refine the formulation and production processes as well as to conduct comprehensive tests to assess the effects of the pellet on the half of chickens, growth rates and egg production on a larger scale. With ongoing innovation and collaboration between the scientific community and agricultural stakeholders, the integration of pellet feeds based from Moringa and Madre de Agua into the chicken diet can not only improve the livelihood of farmers, but also contribute to the global efforts to achieve food security and sustainability. The authors are thankful uh, to Department of Agrotechnology Agri and Bioindustry, JAB, at Polytechnic Energy de Kelantan for providing the supports for this research, including the provision and technical support and access to lab equipment required to conduct the study. Here are the list of the references that has been used in this presentation.
And if you have any question, comment or feedback, you can email me at shazwanazizi at pjk.edu.my. That's all from me. Uh, thank you and I hope you all of you have been enjoying my presentation. Assalamualaikum.